We're joined by head coach James Franklin to talk about the Pinstripe Bowl. Coach, just your general excitement for the fan base, for the players, for the coaching staff to, be, to go to New York, play in Yankee Stadium against Boston College. I think it's really cool. Think about it. You're, you're 18 to 22 years old. You get to spend a week in Ireland. You get to spend a week in New York City over Christmas. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, Donovan Smith sent out a really cool uh, tweet the other day. His uh, grandfather has never seen him play his whole college experience. Uh, from New York originally, so the family's going to be able to see him play. I think that's a great example of all the players that we have from this region. It's going to make it really affordable for their families to come see him play, and, and uh, what a better way to end your, end your college career. When you look at Boston College, a Northeast opponent, you know, a lot of history between Penn State and BC. Is that fun to have an opponent like that as well? There's no doubt about it. Um, you, know, you think about the history of, of the two uh, programs and two institutions playing each other. Our staffs, there's a lot of carryover with our staffs. We know a bunch of their coaches. Our players know a bunch of their players as well. Two, pri two really proud institutions. Um, so uh, it should be a lot of fun, and I would assume it's going to be a great environment. Take the fans through this period of time uh, in terms of practice. What, what types of things have you liked about the opportunity to, to not only work with the team right now, but also build for the future? Right now, we're not really focused on BC. It's like spring ball. We're going good on good. Uh, we call it a program development stage. Um, so that's really important. The way I look at it is it's 50% um, getting ready for the bowl game and, and ending the season, but it's also 50% getting a head start on spring ball. For the young guys especially, how critical is that? Really important. A lot of those guys have been on scout team, uh, haven't had the reps, so now we're, we're working the ones, we're working the twos, and we're working the threes in there to get a chance to see what they're going to be able to do. And there's excitement. You know, uh, we probably could have played a handful of more guys this year, so they're hungry and ready to go. How are things going on the road recruiting for not only you but the staff? Good. It's been crazy. You know, the other morning I was in Connecticut in the morning. I was in, uh, I came back for practice, flew back to Connecticut, did home visits. One day I started in the morning in Philly. Then I was in Scranton in the afternoon. Um, I was in New York in the early evening, and then I was in Indiana in, at night. So it, it's been crazy. But I think it's really important that you get into all the homes, you get into all the high schools. It gives you a much better perspective of who the young man is. Um, and, and I want to I be respectful of those communities as well, and the high school coaches and the family. So it's been great, um, but, uh, but it's, it's a challenge trying to balance both things at the same time. Since the, the season has ended, Mike Hall, Anthony Zettel, among num a number of guys who have received some postseason recognition. But when you look at Mike Hall, linebacker of the year, All-America, and Anthony Zettel, first team All-Big Ten, what about those two guys have really helped this team? Awesome. Uh, awesome. Uh, you know, those guys have been playmakers all year long. They've been disruptive. They've been steady. They've been durable. Um, you know, all the things you're looking for, uh, for great players, they have all those ingredients. Been really coachable, really positive, have embraced everything we've asked them to do. So uh, I couldn't be, couldn't be happier for those guys. And they've really laid a foundation for us for years to come. A little over a week till the team heads to New York. When you look down through the schedule and see a number of those things, I know you, the, the Bull folks in New York talked about going to 9-11 and the 9-11 Memorial, so on and so forth. What type of experience do you think the players will have in New York? I think it's going to be great. Uh, I, I don't know if there's a better city in America in terms of cultural experiences, entertainment, you know, all these different, electricity to the city. Um, you know, so I, I think they're going to have a great time. The Bulls done a tremendous job in getting all these things organized. I know our players are excited about it as well as the administration. Finally, when you switch gears into Boston College mode, you've got final exams this week. Take the fans through kind of the next step in the schedule. What's, what's next for you guys? Yeah, we'll, we'll obviously flip the switch and really start specifically uh, preparing for them, game planning for them, um, you know, you know, getting a really good idea of who and what they are on offense, defense, and special teams. Uh, start getting our guys to understand that so they can go out and play fast and aggressive without hesitation. Um, and, we're, you know, it's kind of like an opening game of the season where you'll get not only a normal game week, but also a few extra days uh, to have them prepared. Coach, thanks for your time. We'll see you in New York. Thank you.